Since 1974, the Theoretical Biology and Biophysics Group has played a vital role within the Los Alamos National Laboratory's Theoretical Division. This group was founded by physicists who leveraged Los Alamos' expertise in nuclear physics, computing, and materials science to address biological problems. The group initially focused on mathematical models of immunology, infectious disease, cell signaling, and genomic analysis leading to key contributions like GenBank and HIV combination therapy. Shortly after, the group began to work on theoretical and computational challenges in biophysics. Delving into fundamental methods of quantum chemistry and statistical physics, it tackled questions related to biomolecular folding and function. This approach to understanding complex biological systems works by reconciling biomolecular models with disease models and genetic insights. Simultaneously, Los Alamos supercomputers conducted evolutionary analyses of pathogens such as HIV and influenza, revealing insights into their emergence, epidemiology, and drug resistance. As the world has evolved, heightened national security concerns about emerging and engineered pathogens coupled with biotechnological advances in characterizing living organisms have significantly elevated the importance of theoretical biology and biophysics. The next speakers will describe the intricacies of epigenetics and chromatin structure, pathogen evolution and vaccine design, and the complexities of suicide prevention. I'm Carissa Sambanmatsu, and together with my fantastic research team, we are deeply immersed in the fascinating world of chromosome dynamics. While a new field has emerged over the past decade called epigenetics, animal studies have shown that social interactions result in modifications of DNA. Studies of baby rats exposed to stress in the form of lack of contact with their mother had chemical modifications to the DNA in their stress response genes. This resulted in a lower density of glucocorticoid receptors and impairing their ability to respond to stress. Since then, many studies on animals and humans have shown correlations between these kinds of chemical modifications and mental health conditions such as anxiety and depression. We are trying to unravel cause and effect and how these epigenetic mechanisms work. So recent findings are showing that the epigenetic modifications alter the shape of our chromosomes. We're using some of the world's largest supercomputers here at Los Alamos to investigate how epigenetics impacts chromosome conformation. We performed the world's largest biomolecular simulation at 1 billion atoms of an entire gene at atomistic resolution. Using these simulations, we're learning what the electrostatic environment looks like in a highly crowded environment of a chromosome. So together with Jeannie Lee and Anna LaPaul at Harvard University and a large team are here at Los Alamos, we're performing coarse grain simulations of entire chromosomes to understand how a critical process during embryo development occurs called X inactivation. By closely integrating experimental data, we're forming a comprehensive picture of chromosome inactivation. Our research is laying the foundation for better mechanistic understanding of epigenetic effects and how they relate to cancer, development, and mental health. I'm Yana Nana Karan Ham, and my projects lie at the interface of biophysics and immunology and focus on many aspects of infectious diseases, uh, including antibiotic resistant bacterial infections, uh, which cause over 1 million deaths annually. So, leveraging Los Alamos high performance computing and AIML, we are addressing the challenges of drug permeability through bacterial double membrane layers. Uh, concerning viral infections, uh, in spite of huge success of COVID-19 vaccines, in the absence of an HIV vaccine remains a challenge, even after 30 years of research. At Los Alamos, we are exploring various aspects of HIV infection for vaccine design, including biophysics-oriented work on antigen design, addressing the viral surface protein sugar coating, also collaborating with institutions like Duke Structural Biology Center and the University of Washington. We investigate viral fusion, viral budding, contribute to our national security projects where we are developing computational tools for predicting vaccine platforms. The collective efforts of our group are utilizing biophysical approaches, mathematical models to enhance understanding of antigen presentation and immune correlates of protection. I'm Syed Badil, and my work at LANL is focused on the use of artificial intelligence techniques to address high-consequence biomedical problems. Predicting suicide is inherently complex 
due to the diverse pathways leading to the outcome, as well as the ambiguity surrounding the cause of death. And current clinical models that are used for suicide risk prediction are just inadequate. A collaboration between the Department of Energy and Veterans Affairs has provided us with access to the multimodal patient-level longitudinal electronic medical records of over 25 million people from the VA healthcare system that spans for more than 24 years and encompasses several billion data points. Utilizing LANL's AI and high-performance computing capabilities with decades of acquired epidemiological and biological knowledge in T6, our model predicts suicide risk with high accuracy and is well calibrated and generalizable as demonstrated by its effectiveness across 150 VA medical centers and on quote-unquote unseen future data, which was only made available to us past the model development phase. This work is also important for enhancing the genome-wide association studies that our VA collaborators Nate Kimbrell and Jean Beckham conduct within the Million Veteran Program. These efforts aim to improve the identification of those genetically predisposed to higher suicide risk and address fundamental factors underlying health and disease states. Our model not only predicts suicide risk, but also disentangles drivers of behavioral health issues, hence informing clinicians and policymakers of treatment decisions and resource allocations. The theoretical biology and biophysics group began with observations by George Bell that mathematics of nuclear reactors can be applied to understand how your immune cells learn to fight infection. In today's interconnected world, advances in data-driven science lead us to connect biomolecular interactions to mental health and pandemic preparedness. We are exploring the frontiers of theoretical biology and biophysics to make impactful contributions to scientific understanding and societal well-being.